You know, we have all seen many fantastic new companies and uh, new products in our lifetime. Uh, today, I'm going to share with you my observations from the inside of one of those companies, my employer, Fuhu, maker of digital solutions for families. And according to Fast Company, one of the 10 most innovative consumer electronic companies in the world. So at Fuhu, we're making uh, iconic products by uniquely blending software and hardware. It's hard to believe this, but before Fuhu, there were no kids' tablets with colorful bumpers and uh, digital safe space and parental controls. Before Fuhu, there was no transmedia digital network that delivered on-demand video, books, games, music, all arranged for uh, discovery by children. Before Fuhu, there, there were no giant tablets that reimagined TV-sized screens to create a physical space for collaborative and social digital play. All of this was achieved at Fuhu through a can-do approach to the process of innovation, free of intellectual barriers and, and animated by incredible ambition. But ambition to what end? Because you see, the goal is both the start and the objective for innovation. So what is innovation? Innovation is practical change driven by desperation or inspiration. Fu was started about eight years ago by a software guy, Rob Fujioka, the Fu in Fuhu, and two hardware guys, Steve and John Hui, the Who in Fuhu. And in the beginning, uh, the company was looking for software projects to support hardware with software, like adding media to Kingston memory devices or creating a child-safe browser and educational content for Acer computers. But desperate to find a more stable business, the, uh, the company loaded its children's software onto a tablet, put a protective bumper around it, and sold it at Toys R Us during Christmas of 2011. They named it Nabi, which is the Korean word for butterfly, because of the potential transformative power of technology in the lives of children. And the result was incredible. I mean, the product sold out almost immediately, and both a product line and a brand were born. So now, the, uh, the innovations that Fuhu brought to market in that first product, eh, they were not planned, and they were not intentional. No, they were driven because they had to find a business. It resulted partly from clear thinking, partly from luck, but mostly from seizing an opportunity that they identified through need or <laughs> desperation. So if necessity or desperation is the mother of invention, we've all heard that, then motivation for a cause beyond oneself or inspiration is the father. So shortly after the um, uh, success of the first Nobby tablet, the company pulled back and then it re-examined. And then it made a single-minded commitment to support families by making educational products for kids and solutions for parents to the challenges of raising children in a digital world. They were, we were totally inspired by the impact that tablets were having on childhood education. And we were inspired by how dedicated parents were to the development of their children in a digital way, not using digital solutions not just to um, uh, teach everything from learning A, Bs, and Cs to, to personal responsibility and life skills. So when you, take, when you take a little business skill and technical skill and you add inspiration, you get not, not only innovation, but you get something more powerful, uh, something entirely relevant to the state of modern society. Because you see, innovation that comes from inspiration is purpose-driven. Purpose-driven, and by that, I don't mean kind of uh, cause marketing or donating a percent of every sale to a worthy organization. That's kind of a gratuitous, feel-good commercialization of charity. No, purpose-driven is something deeper, something more substantial. In Christianity, Pastor Rick Warren called for a postmodern generation to lead a purpose-driven life based on biblical teachings. And similarly, the research showing millennials as a purpose-driven generation is extensive. In a Deloitte study, 86% of millennials believe that business has as much potential as government to, to uh, meet society's challenges. 86%. Millennials, they, they want to develop their careers, they seek coaching and respect, but they also want to live their lives and do their job in a socially conscious way. And this balance between, between self-interest, career development, and altruism uh, is reflective of a, of a broader social reality that I think has implications for a whole generation of business development. So, innovation is practical change driven by inspiration. There's the balance. Practical change, a new product.
product, a new business, but inspired by a purpose greater than the business itself. So I brought with me some toys, an example of what I'm talking about. This is a big one. This is a 70-inch tablet. So part of Fuhu's big tab line of giant tablets. It is a huge piece of hardware. Uh, we, were, we wanted to create something that would bring a sense of awe and wonder, but also bring families together in a way that only technology can do. So we, we put together this whole line of big tabs, these giant tablets from 20 inch all the way up to this size. And the sense of wonder comes from the sheer TV-like size. But you know, if you go out in the world today and touch a TV, nothing happens. And it's disappointing, especially for kids, because they're exposed to so many displays and screens, tablets, phones, even computers that are all touch-enabled. But, you know, you touch a big tab, and the, the power and sophistication of modern mobile computing become available to not only you, but also your family and friends. That's because big tab, big tab is uh, not only awesome, it's pretty awesome, but it's meant to be shared. You know, in a way, we were trying to address the downside that results from too much isolation and separation from excessive use of phones and tablets, or even our own tablets. So we created a big tab, a giant tablet, and with this, people, children, families, they could you know, watch a video, play a game, surf the internet. Anything you can do on a tablet, you can do. But you can do it together with somebody else, physically, not virtually. So, for example, the game of air hockey is so much fun on a giant tablet played together. It's like being in an arcade. It's awesome. And these screens are so big, even the 20 and 24-inch ones, that two children can use their fingers and create a work of art. And the parents can stand behind them and watch them proudly do it. And when they leave and they walk away, the masterpiece is available for exhibition on a giant screen. That's the future. And we were thinking about this and ideating this and writing all those memos and doing all the things you do in development, but I didn't realize what we had until I saw the first engineering sample a couple years ago, a 24-inch big tab, came into the office, put it in the conference room on the floor, because it's a tablet, so we can operate in a flat mode. And we turned it on, and it was, in the crisp, it was winter time, so there were a lot of kids in the office. There's a lot of kids in our office all the time. This is kids' stuff. And they, they said, what's that? I said, it's a giant tablet. And the kids, their eyes get big, really? Can we play? I said, of course, go, go play. So they picked up a game, they picked a game, Fruit Ninja, I don't know if you know this game. It's, the fruit floats around and you use your finger and you do this thing, you cut it with like, like a knife. And two kids are playing, they're screaming, they're hooting and hollering. And then five other kids come around, they gather around the two kids and they're watching and they're rooting and they're screaming, they're all laughing together. And I said, oh my. And I took that tablet and then I went to my family gathering uh, the same sample, and the kids in the family, same result as the ones in the office. And then the parents got it. And they started to pull up YouTube videos and share photos, and they were all talking and laughing around the tablet. And then my dad grabbed it, and he's an old guy, a senior. And he has arthritis, and he can't see very well. And he's playing what? Video poker. So it's a senior thing, right? <laughs> and, and he was having the time of his life, and I realized, this is the first time this 80-year-old guy got to experience the fun of the digital revolution going around, things that we take for granted. And I said, oh my goodness, we have created an entirely new category of consumer electronics, one that is defined by togetherness, sharing, collaboration, cooperation, touch, size. This is innovations inspired by the power of technology to bring people together. So at the, at the same time we were innovating the physical digital space through Big Tab, we were creating and inspired to expand the virtual world that kids can learn, play, and grow. You know, there's different types of digital content, video, music, books, games. And each of them has their own history, their own uh, set of content providers, their own business model. And because of that aggregations of content, tend to be by type. So you go to Netflix to see video and Pandora to see songs and uh, get songs. And if you want an ebook, you go to a book publishing app. Well, we could have made kids' versions of each of those types of subscriptions. 
But our epiphany was the next generation doesn't divide content by type. They think everything's digital, and everything should be available on demand on a single device through a single user experience. So we created a new type of subscription called, uh, we called it Nobby Pass. So Nobby Pass is a transmedia content subscription. And that, that means that we take media of all different types, movies, TV shows, videos, apps, games, books, music, even magazine articles. And we put them all together and we make them all available on demand. Because in this new form of, of digital content subscription, we take a fixed amount of content, a set amount of content, and arrange it by characters and themes. And this is all with the intent to create a chain of experiences, what we call discovery paths. Because in this new kind of transmedia experience, it's not just about the individual pieces of content. It's about the exploration or the discovery. You know, in the digital content world, there's all this effort to aggregate huge libraries of digital content and then execute ubiquitous search engines to give you what you like or more of what you like. But we think that there's a role for these types of digital products in the future. Things that help you figure out what it is you like and what it is you even want to search for and to offer you things that you probably would never have thought of. In retail terms, it's the shopping, not the buying. In vacation terms, it's wandering the streets of a new city and finding that hidden cafe, not running from reservation to reservation. It's about the journey, not just the destination. Discovery, curiosity, these are things that we want as parents for our kids, things that will bring a, a lifelong enjoyment of learning and adventure free of legacy boundaries. And at Fuhu, these innovations in, in technology and media, while well, they've been inspired and they've been driven by basically our love as parents for our kids and our responsibility as humans to advance and give the best that we have to the next generation. Because innovation, innovation is not just what a company does. Innovation can be the result of how a company feels about society, about its role as a social organization in a larger society. And this is entirely consistent with the broad social changes going on in this generation, a generation that is increasingly altruistic and empathetic. You know, in the beginning, people worked in a desperate struggle for survival. But we've evolved so that now people, people can work for a cause greater than themselves. And in the same way, innovation at, in, in business at Fuhu and other progressive companies is evolving socially conscious, purpose-driven, reflecting and shaping the aspirations and inspiration of a new generation. Thanks for listening to me today. <laughs>